Howdy, this is Chris Abraham with Chris Cast, episode, um, season two, episode, uh, 19. Uh, this one is really short and really silly and probably obvious and, um, hopefully it'll be short like I just said. The title is... UPS makes house calls. I'll be right back after the message. Oh, thank you. Welcome back to Season 2, Episode 19, UPS Makes House Calls. So, my entire life, I have gone to the UPS store, or to Kinko's, or to FedEx, or to the post office, to drop off packages and returns, and I just didn't have the time. I did not have the time, and I didn't want to do it. So I went to the UPS drop-off box and my uh, box of a uh, Ranch Lens fancy, fancy, fancy Filson leather duffel didn't fit. So I went to the liquor store that has a USPS in it and they do not accept UPS drop-offs. And then I went to... um, uh, it's not Rite Aid, it's not C... I went to Wegmans, and they only accept FedEx drop-offs. So, I realized that there are only two UPSs close by. There's three. There's one in Boston, there's one in Shirlington, and there's one in Pentagon City, near Crystal City. And they were all at least 1.2 miles away. And since I am intentionally without car... And because I didn't bring my bike with me, I was on foot. I threw my box into my largest courier bag, which is my ultimate OS from Pack Designs. Thank you, Pat. And uh, schlepped to Idido Social House, my cafe. Sat down, did a business call, and then, no, no. Uh, First I did, I went to UPS.com and I requested a pickup. And I requested a pickup from Chris Abraham, who is a customer at IDO Social House and Coffee. And they charged me $6.90, which is completely affordable considering... Uh, the convenience fee of going uh, uh, 1.2 miles, um, even, even e- you know, in terms of convenience, even if I took the city bus, uh, which might or might not even be charging, just in terms of getting there, um, maybe even if I had a car or a motorcycle, uh, it just didn't seem for $6.90 I paid the money, told them where I was, told them during which times I'd be available. I said basically from 11.50 until 4 and hit submit and then told the lovely barista what my plans were after I did it, you know, ask for forgiveness instead of permission. And not long after 3 p.m., big brown truck rolled up. Uh, handed the box to him. He knew it was coming. He was smart and savvy enough to know what the plan was. And, uh, au revoir, uh, off to Colorado. The bag is going to get a, uh, a repair. Um, so that's it. UPS does house calls. And not only... Does UPS do house calls? It doesn't have to be your own house. It doesn't have to be a house. It doesn't have to be your business. It can be someone else's business. 
It could be Starbucks. It could be a cafe. Uh, and uh, the only thing is there's a nominal fee. In this case, $6.90. Uh, that that is not a delivery fee. I had a pre-printed UPS label, and I had my own box, and I <laughs> I sealed it up with 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 silver uh, duct tape because that's what I had, and I love flouting uh, the rules. I was going to use green electrical tape, but then I found a um, a big I've got gaffer's tape. I've got moleskin. I've got all kinds of stuff I could use to 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 seal stuff for self amusement. In fact, I should have filled the bag with uh, with army men. That would have been funny. Um, and that's it. So, in case you don't know that, I think everybody knows that. I think everybody knows that if you have a package, you can contact USPS, FedEx, or UPS and let them know. That you've got to pick up. Um, I've just never done it. I don't even know if it was mandatory for me to pay $6.90. But it seemed um, pretty reasonable for my convenience. And for my time and energy and so forth. Anyway, I'll talk to you right after the next um, the next break. <laughs> I'm incredibly sorry if that was self-indulgent, silly, and not worth listening to, but you know, you know, they can't be all good. I want to just crash ahead and just throw thoughts. You know, I never know what people find entertaining. I mean, they found Chris in a corset pretty entertaining. All y'all found Chris in a corset pretty entertaining. Um, and it has nothing to do with corsets, nothing to do with scuba suits. Uh, but Chris in a corset is clickbait and it's funny and it's absurd and it just seems too much. Okay, well, thanks for coming. I'm at Chris Abraham on Twitter, at Chris Abraham at Instagram, youtube.com slash Chris Abraham. I'm chrisabraham.com. I'm chris at abraham.su. You can text me at plus one two zero two three five two five zero five one. Or call me at 202-352-5051. Uh, I never answer calls of people I don't know. So you'll just go to Google Voice and be transcribed. Um, what else? Uh, LinkedIn.com slash in slash Chris Abraham. Instagram, I already gave that to you. Facebook.com slash Chris Abraham. And that's it. Uh, mahalo and aloha. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.